D.H. Lawrence is, of course, famous for the kind of literature that uh, shocked uh, the readers of his time. Uh, most notably, of course, was uh, his novel Lady Chatterley's Lover. Now, what most people will be unaware of is that there was an even more shocking precursor uh, to that particular story. Um, now, what I'm about to read is an extract from a never-before-seen work of Lawrence uh, called simply Lord Chatterley's Lover. Smith entered the room, his head dutifully bowed, his cloth cap gripped nervously in his thick, calloused hands. Ah, Smith, barked Chatterley heartily from where he sat in a rich green leather armchair, perusing the morning newspapers. My good, good man. Morning, your lordship, mumbled Smith, fingering his forelock. Whip it out before we begin, Smith, warned Chatterley, eyeing the small dog at his groundkeeper's feet. The lord rose from his chair and stood erect beside Smith. Now, he said, you're a good, hard worker, are you not, Smith? I know my way around the job, your lordship, came the almost imperceptible reply. Oh, you have no idea how much it gladdens me to hear you say so, my stout fellow, said Chatterley, patting Smith generously on the shoulder. What can I be doing for you, your lordship, asked Smith, his eyes cast down. Why, you could do me for nothing, Lord Chatterley murmured meditatively stroking his considerable whiskers. Begging your pardon, sir? Oh, nothing, nothing. Smith looked up fractionally. Only I promised the parson I'd scrub out his rectory this morning. You shall have plenty of time to see to the parson's rectory, Smith. You are my manservant, are you not? Chatterley strode back to his seat. What I would like, Smith, he said, briskly adjusting his breeches, is for you to put those handy, manly hands of yours on my old blunderbuss and give it a good buffing. I want it polished until you can see your face in it. Smith nodded. Very good, sir, he said. And take care to use the expensive oils this time, Smith, warned Chatterley. I had the devil of a time cocking the bugger last week. Sorry, your lordship, said Smith, torn up and again. And see, the shaft is fully lubricated. Smith looked up now, meeting his lordship's eye. I knows my work, sir, he grumbled. I shall see to your weapon immediately. Excellent, said the lord, gathering his things together. Now I must be off into town to attend to business. I shall be back within the hour. Don't be too surprised if I come in through the tradesman's entrance. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating.